All right, Kenman here. And just when you thought CJRB had released every cool variant of the Pyrite possible, boom, a new contender comes along. How will it stand up to its predecessors? Let's find out. Before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone, and I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. All right, you guys know what this is right here? Boom, I have been excited for this. I handled one at Blade Show Texas a month or so back and have been eagerly waiting for its release. Bag on the floor. Obviously a CJRB. Okay, I need my pyrite here. Cut this one free. Who is excited as I am for this new variant? We got a new blade shape. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Solid CJRB bag. Ooh, there she is. Nice little cloth. Great bags. And we have the new Pyrite variant. Oh. This is the CJRB Pyrite with the rose gold buoy blade. <laughs> Soak it in. Oh, I love it. I love it. We have we have some oil. Get one of my dirty cloths, the normal new knife in the mail. You always kind of have a potential to get a little extra oil on there from shipping and just being stored. Wow, that it looks great. Woo! Excellent right out of the box. If you are not familiar with the Pyrite, they are a fantastic knife. There are so many variants from CJRB that it's crazy. There's got to be 15, 20 different ones, different handles, different materials, um, blade shapes. You've got your drop point, your uh, Warncliffe kind of sheep's foot. And now we've got this Bowie with the, uh, got to work on that. Uh, that's a, one thing that I haven't experienced yet with the Pyrite personally is all of the ones I've had have the hole. I've had two like this and then the minis. Um, I tend to be a fuller hole lover. Um, so I never really got the version that was the uh, drop point with the thumb studs on it. And now I've got one with thumb studs. That thumb stud works really good. The flick out works pretty good, but I failed that a couple times. But the thing is, is he's got this fuller all the way down there. So you can flick it out even lower. Oh, look at all the accents. Let me open it up. Oop, caught my index finger there. So we have a steel uh, handle, or is it aluminum? I think it's steel. Does it say on the box? Black steel handle, I apologize. Uh, we got that black coated steel handle and then the AR RPM 9 blade steel with that rose gold coating. Very cool looking. I love it. Everybody's got a different style, different taste. That's the neat thing about the Pyrite is they have so many variations that there's got to be one that you like. If you don't like this, you know, they have some other ones. This version that just came out, also they have in the classic kind of silver on silver. Um, they do have a few variants. Uh, there's one with a wood handle as well. Um, exciting, exciting. Like I said, Spent some time at the booth uh, Blade Show Texas. That CJRB booth was really fun. And like uh, this was literally one of the ones I saw. And I said, Russell, when is that coming out? I am excited for that. Oh, got to get your index finger out of the way. Um, and he said it was going to be about April. Here we are. Uh, I had the window on my computer open. And just ready to go and so I would refresh it every time I went over by the computer to see if it went because it was it was said it was there but not available but coming soon and so I just kept hitting refresh until it went from coming soon to available purchased it 
it's all of a half hour later I got the email because I'm on their list um, saying oh it is available and I'd already purchased it and glad I got it in the mail here it is so yes CJRB Pyrite oh cops are coming by I don't know if you can hear that on the on the phone or the computer <laughs> What is this thing I'm recording on this device? Camera. It's a camera. Anyway, um, button lock works really good. Um, give you a little fill in on the pyrite. The pyrite is the perfect pyrite. Now it's coming by. What's the joke? They found me. Yeah. Um, pyrite came out a while ago. I'm going to set this one. Let me open it. Oh, geez, I keep doing that. I'm catching, I'm not used to that, I'm not making excuses, but this is the pyrite that I'm used to. And with the fuller hole, there is no thumb stud. So my index fingers, I have long fingers. So my index fingers kind of hang out way up here. And because this, I'm used to this, I can put my finger right there and it goes right by. But when I do that on here, it's much closer to that thumb stud. So I have a tendency sometimes to catch them uh, that's my own you got to learn the knife you know get your finger out of the way sometimes when I'm doing a video like this I'm my finger is weird in an awkward place on the button and I've had some where it'll kind of do that when I wasn't intending to so these are just things it's like when you get a knife you have to learn how it works how's the action on it can you do it with the thumb can you do it with the index or you know how do you keep your finger out of the way of the button does it bounce a lot how much do you have to press it all these little things just kind of figure out the knife and how it works and try not to cut yourself in the process. But uh, yeah, the original Pyrite came out was just like this, except for it was the drop point blade with the thumb stud. And then they had also the Warncliffe version. This is the one I really wanted, but it was not available. So I ended up getting a one in, it was just like this, except for it was black, which I put a laser mark on. And then one of you were interested, I sold it to one of my uh, subscribers. They have it now. Um, but... I got this one because it, it did eventually become available and then they started releasing all these different variants and it's a really cool knife. It's a great kind of mid-size to full-size button lock, everyday carry, great user knife. If you are not aware of a pyrite, they are, like I said, it's a fantastic knife. It's a good starter. If it's something you don't know anything about knives, I literally do unboxings several times a week. And the first thing I compare every knife that I get to is this knife right here, the Pyrite. It's a good size that everyone's kind of familiar with. And you can kind of get, uh, here comes another siren. Sorry if that's annoying on the camera, or maybe you can't even hear it. I, you probably can. They are after me. The Pyrite police. Uh, we have surrounded the building. Bring us the Bowie Pyrite. It's the only one in your city. <laughs> Wow, we got multiples coming by now. There must be something going on. They have heard. Kenman has the rose gold. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're having some fun, all right? Um, okay. Uh, let me just do an official. I don't really have to do uh, the full unboxing review, kind of, or it was in a review. It's in a first impressions kind of a thing. Although it is kind of a review because I've had the Pyrite. So I'm reviewing the Pyrite, but I'm only giving first impressions of this one. Um, but initially, it looks like the, the handle is exactly the same. I don't see any difference. Does it look like? It almost looks like on the rose gold one, the button sticks out a little bit more. That could just be the color the accents making it blend in more on this one. Uh, the jimps. Looks like there's a couple more jimps on the rose gold. I'm a fan of the jimp. I love how they did all the accents and the screws and everything with the rose gold match. That is great. That and black. I do laser marks and stuff on the channel. If you haven't seen, bing, you can check it out right there. Um, I don't know if I really want to do it to this. I love the way this looks. And if I were, I, I wouldn't be able to do a laser mark on here in gold. I might be able to get a white 
to see how like they did the mark there where it says CJRB on the blade and then what does it say ARRP on nine probably on this side. They keep it all tucked away, nice and kind of clean look. Um, but I might be able to do a laser mark uh, in white that would match that. But then you're looking at white and black and gold. It kind of has a good look already. All right, get used to this. Let's check that button. Let me zoom out a little bit. Wow. Now it's the uh, fire department's coming. They all want to see this new uh, pyrite buoy. Oh, what a cool shape of that blade, huh? I got it all fingered up here, all dirty. Try to make it all polished and shiny and get a little close up. Mm. So I'm not sure I looked. I don't know what kind of coating. It just says rose gold coating. I don't know if it's like a PVD or, or what it is. It looks like a... You know, it's not paint because they do have some that they've done where it is definitely paint where they have a couple where it's like a red blade or like pink or some funky cool colors. But they've got some where it's really neat because it's like painted like that. And then the accents are all different colors. So you got these kind of wild kind of party colors or I don't know, or 80s kind of style maybe. Yeah, that blade comes out nice I'm getting used to it now I love you know the like I said the fuller hole is great but this has got that long fuller groove to it which is basically the same kind of a deal very happy with this okay so I put it next to the regular pyrite we can put it next to a pyrite mini I did the laser mark on this one that's that white that I was talking about accenting off of it if you want to watch this live you can right there but the pyrite minis I definitely have a larger hand I prefer bigger knives and then I messed around with one of the minis and literally fell in love with it and then the next thing I know I was buying every mini available from all the companies I will be having a mini video shootout coming soon check that out I don't have a link for it but it, it will be coming pretty soon I'm gonna do a little comparison on all of them yeah I don't know you guys having fun Hit that like button let me know um yeah so it's it's a great looking pyrite um uh, there is a pyrite large i was gonna get the pyrite large and long story short before i had a chance to order it they came out with the frack so this is not a pyrite it's the frack so it is different but in so many amazing ways i don't want to hijack the video but man S90V and then I got the titanium handle with the frag pattern. This is very similar to, you know, like the style, the classic. If I just put the standard pyrite out here, you can see it's, it's similar. It's obviously much larger, but if you put these two kind of the comparison and the size wise, it's, it's a similar knife has that choke up spot on all of them. But um, I never ended up getting the large because I got this frack and I fell in love with this. This is definitely one of my favorite knives. Super cool. It's a beast. So you don't always need a beast. So that daily carry of a pyrite is a really good size. And this uh, rose gold looks clean. Comment below. What do you think? Is this a, the best uh, version pyrite out there? And if it's not then tell me which one is. Which one do you have? How many pirates do you have? I would be uh, interested to know. I currently have three. Possessed four, but I definitely like CJRB and Fuller Holes. I got several whole, uh, knives that are like that. Good stuff. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out and I really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think of the blade shape on this the buoy blade super cool if you like pyrites check this one out just became available i don't know if they're going to be out of stock um, they get hot when they are released but mm, love it you ever uh dye a knife before and i mean the scales of the knife if you ever want to see that check it out right here stay sharp see you soon